If you're in need of a new camera phone, you have come to the right place. We have tested a wide variety of smartphones and gathered all the best picks for capturing photos and videos right here in this video. And make sure to click on the links in the description for the price info. Our pick for the best cheap phone is the Realme 9 Pro Plus, which costs less than £350 yet delivers excellent photographic results. This model is a significant upgrade over the Realme 8 Pro as it includes the same excellent 50 megapixel main sensor that you will find on the Oppo Find X5 Pro. Shorts are remarkably clear and crispy in daylight, and while night shorts can seem over brightened, they do still retain an impressive level of clarity that separates it from all other handsets at this price point. Admittedly, the remaining sensors on the handset namely an 8-megapixel ultra-wide camera and a 2-megapixel macro sensor are just box standard and not anything special. But just getting your hands on a flagship level sensor at this price is the bargain that makes this phone worth your consideration. We reckon that you simply won't get a better main camera performance for this price. Google's Pixel line has consistently impressed us with its camera performance. Since we reviewed the first generation Pixel all the way back in 2016, despite changes in hardware, this has largely been fueled by the line's advanced processing, which uses Google's AI and machine learning to create best in class imaging quality year on year. Based on our testing, the Pixel 6a continues this legacy but brings the bronze camera quality to an a typically low price point. The phone features the same rear camera setup as the regular Pixel 6. It's also powered by the same Google Mate Tensor chip, which lets it offer a few Pixel-specific features you can't get elsewhere. The most useful we have found is Magic Eraser, which lets you use the 6A's AI smarts to remove unwanted photo bombers and elements from your photo in the main camera app. Low-light photos hold better contrast and remain noise-free. Regular photos look realistic featuring natural, accurate colors and remain blissfully free of the rookie mistakes we experience on other phones at this price, like over sharpening. This earns it a place in this list as our recommended camera phone for buyers looking for the best value option. The OnePlus 11 is a fantastic all-rounder that hits almost all the points expected of a flagship phone in 2023, including a great display, top-end performance, all-day battery life, and a brilliant camera. The smartphone has an eye-catching design with a slightly sparkly finish. On the front, there's a 6.7-inch AMOLED screen with a 2K resolution, 120Hz refresh rate and LTPO 3.0 technology, meaning it can drop as low as 1Hz to save battery life on the always on display. Turn the phone around and you will find the triple camera, including a 50 megapixel main sensor, a 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and a 32 megapixel telephoto lens. We found that the camera was capable of impressive color reproduction with 10 bit color, while HDR helped to tackle bright back lightning. Low light performance is particularly impressive and you can even record video at 8K 24 frames per second though the rather aggressive crop means that most people would probably want to stick to 4K 60 frames per second. Likewise, the 16 megapixel selfie camera is good enough for calls but the 1080p limit and lack of autofocus mean we would recommend using the rear camera for video. When it comes to low-light photography, the Vivo X90 Pro is undoubtedly the most capable phone on the market right now with some truly stunning low-light results. That's largely down to the inclusion of 1-inch sensor and 1.75 aperture with its main 50.3 megapixel main camera which allows it to let in much more light than the capable iPhone 14 Pro Max and Samsung Galaxy A23 Ultra and the results are instantly noticeable. Low light images taken on the Vivo X90 Pro boast not only more light than the competition but decent details and color accuracy too. 
It's not just focused on the low light though. The combination of the main 50.3 megapixel sensor and a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 50 megapixel 2x telephoto lens, a versatile shooting experience. Though the 2x zoom does seem a bit limited compared to most flagships on the market. Oppo has consistently impressed us with its iPhone in recent years, with the firm's ever-improving cameras being one of the biggest reasons why the 5X5 Pro disappoints with its zoom performance, but it boasts the strongest ultra-wide camera we have tested, while other phones on this list use inferior sensors for their ultra-wide. The 5X5 Pro uses the same hardware for both the wide and ultra-wide camera, giving you far superior results. Not only are pictures more detailed with better color, but they lack the distorted edges and strong fish eye effect we found on the S23 ultra wide camera. This is the first Oppo phone to use the bronze on Mary Silicon X NPU and it helps the phone have greater control over the image quality when compared to the outgoing Find X3 Pro which has very much the same camera hardware. The images here are more detailed with nicer color reproduction, low light performance has greatly improved too. If you're purely wanting a phone camera for stills photography, we think the Pixel 7 Pro is the one to go for, just like the Pixel 6 Pro before it. While it disappoints a bit with video capture and lacks some of the versatility of the iPhone 14 Pro or the S23 Ultra, the beautiful images it captures are rich in detail and vibrancy and are the most pleasing of all the phones on this list. The way it utilizes HDR to level out contrast and exposure is fantastic. The zoom skills of this phone are better than the Oppo Find X5 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro but can't compare to the S23 Ultra. Google software can only get you so far and the better zoom hardware on the Samsung just produces clearer images. It is a similar story too for the Ultra Wide which produces adequate images that sit somewhere in the middle in terms of quality. With all the cameras of Samsung's top and Galaxy S23 Ultra are of not, its zooming prowess remains unmatched by the competition. That's particularly true of the 10x optical zoom, which manages to capture plenty more detail than the digital zoom of the likes of iPhone 14 Pro Max and Oppo Find X5 Pro, which were comparatively blurrier in tests. There's also a 3x zoom for portrait photography and Samsung's famed 100x space zoom that's particularly well suited to taking photos of the moon. Though admittedly not much less, the main 200 megapixel camera is another big reason to opt for Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra over the likes of the iPhone 14 Pro Max and Google Pixel 7 Pro. Using 16 in 1 pixel binning tag, the phone manages to capture vibrant, detailed shots in both well lit and low light environments, with the latter representing a huge step forward compared to the already capable S22 Ultra. It's almost effortless to capture stunning images with the main sensor. It's not just hardware either, the camera app comes with a range of shooting modes, including an upgraded expert raw mode that allows you to capture raw images at up to 50 megapixel as well as take long exposure shots of the night sky. It will also record 8K video at 30 frames per second at a wider angle than much of the competition. Perfect if you are one of the few people with an 8K TV to show it off on. We think the iPhone 14 Pro is the best all-round camera phone. It's reliable in all conditions, captures the best video out of any other phone on this list, and boasts three distinct cameras for versatility with each capturing different focal lengths. However, it's not actually the best camera phone across every specific area. We much prefer the zoom skills on the Galaxy A23 Ultra for one thing as it captures as much clearer overall images when you zoom into a subject. But that said, when taken as a whole, the iPhone 14 Pro comes out top. In terms of the overall specs of the camera hardware, 
the iPhone 14 Pro Max some drastic changes to the formula we have been familiar with for a number of years. It's the first iPhone to move on from the 12 megapixel sensor, switch to a 48 megapixel version for its main wide camera. This works in a similar way to the Galaxy Ace 23 Ultra and others, winning down images to 12 megapixel but utilizing the larger amount of pixels. You can shoot 48 megapixel shots if you want, but this is a separate mode. There's a dedicated night mode for shooting in darker surroundings and the effects are great with plenty of details retained and dark spots kept mostly free of noise. That said, it would still be nice to be able to turn the night mode on and off as you please. Since with this phone, it just bursts into life automatically when the camera can't pick up in a fly. Night mode is much quicker this year and the 14 Pro is capable of some of the best night shots around. Thank you for being with us so far and let us know what do you think about these phones in the comment section and make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out the links in the description for the price.